Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Kay and today we are doing our weekly catch-up. So, I say weekly catch-up, I missed last week again. So, long story short, I've got a lot going on and I just didn't have time to film anything. Apologies, um, I'm going to try and get back on track starting with this week and bear with me I will get a proper schedule eventually but just just bear with me please um so weekly catch up if you've never watched this before um this is just a video where I talk about what I um have purchased last week or the last two weeks in this case um and what I'm looking at buying or interested in in the weeks to come um it's also the video where i just have a general chat about makeup really um things i like things i don't like things like that so um let's get into it then so um i mentioned in my last video that i was interested in the nabla secret palette and the Juvia's Coral palette. I also said that if I was going to get a Juvia's palette, I probably wouldn't start with the Coral. Um, so I got the Nabla Secret palette and I got the Zulu palette from Juvia's Place. Um, so Nabla first really really pretty packaging it came in this little sleeve that had the same design on um it's got all the ingredients on the back of the box but it doesn't on the back of the package it's just so cute um i looked at that and i thought that is just gorgeous and when you open it up you've got a mirror and these are the colours that are inside oh, they're just beautiful um, so I have used it I've enjoyed using it it was really easy to use and blend um, the shades were really pretty this Julietta shade here is a really pretty pink I really enjoyed using this shade here um, this was really nice as well um, I quite like this shimmer this is really interesting so it's white but it's got like a lime green shift to it um, and yeah it's just a usable palette it's got neutrals in so you can do a more wearable look but then it's got the colourful elements in it so that you can brighten things up if you want to and um, yeah I'm happy I bought it and the Juvia's, I think I'm in love. So I posted a photo on my social media the other day of me wearing this palette and all I'd done was I used, did I use, I used this shade, I used this shade and I used this shade and that was it, that was all I used and it was bright, it was colourful, I really enjoyed it. I had a few comments about the look I did, all positive. Um, so yeah, really happy with that. The quality of these, I mean, I've, I've only used it once so far, but the quality of the shades that I used were just really, really nice. Um, there's a lot of colour, but it's not hard to blend it's it's just really really easy to use um and really easy to get a nice colorful look without having to try too hard um so yeah really glad i've got that and i will definitely be purchasing more juvia's palettes in the future something else i got was <sighs> so this is a little bit on the pricier side a smidge but I saw them and I thought they're so pretty and I know that's nothing 
to do with the product. I saw a couple of reviews on this and they were quite positive. Um, so there's four different shades, I think. There's the there's a pink one, a white one, a bronzy one, and I can't think for the life of me what the fourth one is right now. But if I find it, I'll put a picture in the video. But I got the pink one, and it's just pretty. It's um, fragranced, so it smells a little bit rosy. Um, the packaging is just outstanding. Um, and so it's the um, By Terry Brightening CC Powder. So it's got rose hip oil in it, um, and it's basically it's it's a highlighter it's a brightening powder um, you can use it to buff you can use it to help um, disguise dark circles it's a little bit shimmery but not over the top um, yeah I just I just thought it looked stunning and I just really wanted to try it so yeah so this is the shade number two rose elixir if you can see that there you go um so yeah Li little bit pricey but i do think i'm going to enjoy using that also from the same brand i got the by terry lip expert shine liquid lipstick so it's the show you the box yep um it's in the shade rosy kiss and that's the little packaging so rather sleek rather smart and looks a little bit like that and looks a bit like that so it's more of a gloss than a lipstick um I, I did think it was more of a lipstick it says liquid lipstick but i found that it's quite sheer when it's on the lips but it does leave some color um and it just it looks really pretty um glad i got it um and because i ordered this and the brightening powder i got a little free sample of the bomb de rose um lip care and that is even though it was a free sample it's in such a cute little package human there you go so this is a little glass container really smart looking packaging for a freebie and just looks like that inside and also has a bit of a rose scent to it and it just feels really nice on just feels really nice on the lips so yep it's not sticky it's just a it's, it's a lip balm basically but uh but yeah it was a nice little extra so that was cool now this wasn't a purchase but because i'd ordered over and it was 50 or 60 pounds worth of stuff from look fantastic um i got free eye makeup brushes a little eyeliner brush although it is quite chunky on that width here um so i'll probably use it more as a brow brush myself however there was also a brow brush so you've got the brow here which is just a little bit narrower which is just a little bit narrower on here and then you've got the spoolie on the other end so that's quite useful then there was this little pencil brush or detailer brush um yeah it's really quite small um and i've got quite small eyes so i think actually that's going to be quite useful then there was this it's just a fluffy shader 
quite cute and they're all they're all really soft they're all really soft they don't feel like they're going to be terrible quality at all and then last but not least there was this one <laughs> now this one you might notice is a little bit bent so it's just a larger shader brush and when it's straight it looks a bit like that so I, I will be able to fix that I'll be able to manipulate manipulate that back into shape but the reason that that is bent is because so when it's in the pot and the lid goes on it just sort of rests against the top so it's bent it but I can fix it I'm not going to store them in here anyway so that can now be recycled um next i got this so i think we may be noticing a theme here um so it's the by terry twist on lip and it's in the shade cream and espresso so two shades because it is two shades so you've got a lighter brown and the darker brown and it just twists so you can use it you can blend it all together for one color you can use it as an ombre sort of thing you can use it as a lighter color and then a darker color um a lighter color on one lip and a darker color on the other um i've actually got it on right now i've just used it as a one color thing i really like it it feels really nice it feels quite creamy doesn't feel sticky or heavy um it's a nice colour. Um, yeah, happy I got that. So, I have also had my delivery of FabFitFun, my summer box come, and in it I ordered some add ons. So, I'm not going to talk about the things that were in the box, although they were quite exciting. I might mention those next week instead because you'll have seen the FabFit fun video by then hopefully um but i did get some add-ons with it so these were extras that weren't in the box but i paid for them separately and i got these so these were quite exciting so i got a few others as well actually but these were the most exciting um so i got the murad cleanser and the ciarte astro lights palette so the cleanser really excited to have this um it is larger than i thought i was getting I, I i looked at the price of the i looked at the price of this and i thought that's going to be about this size i didn't actually look at the details i just thought that's a good price for that size i'm gonna buy that and then when it came <laughs> it was a little bit larger than i thought it was going to be um not unhappy about that so really really pleased by that that's exciting um and this just looks pretty so it's cute little packaging um so i'm sold already and then when you open it up you've got these little beauties inside so i have heard that ciarte shadows can be a bit hit and miss um I'll, I'll be honest i haven't tried any i bought the jessica rabbit collection i have not used it because it, it's just it's pretty i want it to stay pretty so hmm, it makes me sad that i'm not using it but it would make me sad if i used it too so at the moment i'm just trying to weigh up which one i'll be more sad for um but I've got this now so i'm going to try this palette and see what it's like but i'm looking at it and i'm thinking she looks pretty i'm really excited by the middle shade with the bowing um it's a duo chrome and when i've swatched it it just looks really pretty so that's it on the finger and then if we just put it here don't know if you can see that but it's got a oh it's got a beautiful 
beautiful shift to it there we go I just think that looks really really pretty so I'm excited to try that definitely something else I'm excited for and this came yesterday as I'm filming this it came yesterday I got the Alyssa Edwards collaboration with Anastasia Beverly Hills palette I didn't know who Alyssa Edwards was I will hold my hands up and, and admit that um, but when the promo pictures and video came out for this palette I pretty much just sat there looking at my phone going bye bye money um, I, I knew I was going to get it um, I looked at getting the, the Anastasia Riviera palette a few months ago and I didn't get it because the colours in it I bought another palette at the time that had a few similar colours in and I just thought I don't really need the two so I didn't get it but I've sort of regretted not getting it and I was I was getting a bit like shall I just get it anyway um, and then this came out and I'm now really glad I didn't get the Riviera palette because she looks a little bit like this and I think when I look at this I think this has got some similarities to the Riviera palette and I think if I'd have bought the Riviera palette I wouldn't have wanted to get this one and I actually think this one's better I, I like the colours in this one better so I'm, I'm actually really glad I, I held off now um, this just looks so so exciting this purple and this blue they're so vibrant um, if I can just dip in so in true Anastasia style you've got to be a little bit careful when you're dipping into the pans because they're quite powdery but just look how vibrant they are I mean they're not even focused and you can see how vibrant they are they don't go they don't swatch particularly well but on the eyes they do look really quite nice and I haven't I haven't taken a photograph with them yet but I'm going to so but yeah really excited to have a bit of a bit more of a play with that this shimmery purple I'm excited to get stuck into um, and this shade beyond as well looks like it could be quite fun um, and it, again it's something that can be quite wearable um, it's got the neutrals in there as well so it's going to be a palette that I can use whatever mood I'm in so happy with that definitely so um, a while ago I mentioned that Cover FX had released um, their monochromatic blush and bronze duos um, I know I showed the picture of the blushes um, there were six shades um, when I looked at them I I was drawn to one but I thought that two would be more appropriate as a blush for me so I've been waiting for them to come to the UK and I've been waiting and I've been waiting and I've been waiting and they finally came they came to Beauty Bay however I didn't know they'd come to Beauty Bay until the day after or at least that's what it looks like because when I went on to purchase them the two shades that I would be able to wear as blush were already sold out so I was very very sad and to console myself I purchased the one that I was drawn to which was the sweet mulberry shade so um, not quite sure how I'm going to use this yet um, 
I'm going to try it as a blush. I have heard that they're quite pigmented, so I would have to go easy with it. Um, I'm going to try it. I don't think it's going to work. I think this is going to be the biggest pan of eyeshadow that I have ever owned. But it's so pretty and i'm really happy i've got it i'm really sad i don't have the other two that was the sweet peach and the pink dahlia shades as soon as they're in stock and i know that they're in stock i'm gonna get them um it was just unfortunate that i missed them probably by a day um so but uh but yeah i have one and the last thing I'm going to talk about in terms of what I've already got is my Cleona eyeshadows have finally arrived. So it's a little over a month since I ordered them. I think it was the 3rd of May I ordered them and it's currently the 6th of June. So yeah, it's been a while, but they have had a massive backlog from what I can tell. They've released a new product and they're currently trying to fill orders for that. Um, so they've been quite inundated. Um, so it's fine. Um, they came, they were super well packaged. They were wrapped in three, they were packaged in threes, wrapped in bubble wrap, individually sectioned in within the bubble wrap and they were in little plastic in fact i think i've got one somewhere oh there you go so they were in little plastic containers individual containers um they've got the shades in here they've got a little covering on the top of it and then there's a little padded bit in the lid that just popped over the top so super well packaged and here they are so i bought two bundles i bought the dreamweaver bundle and i bought the harvest moon bundle so you've got you split the palette sort of here and I've got one on one side, one on the other, and I haven't had a chance to swatch them yet. They have literally come today, um, but they are beautiful looking in the pan. I'm just, I'm very excited to use these. Um, this shade here, this one's called Bon Bon. It's a duo chrome, so it's like a pinky purpley shift oh my god i want this on my eyes so bad i'm, I'm looking at this thinking mm, can i get away with taking all of this off and putting this on but it is about half past 10 at night so it's probably not worth it and would be a waste of of this so i'm not going to but i really want to and this is the other one that really excites me this one right here um hex i think this one's called and again that's another duo chrome it's got like a goldy sort of shift to it there's a few duo chromes in here and, and they all look really pretty um but the colors on this side i'm like hmm they're pretty and then the colors on this side i'm also hmm they're pretty but i do think that they'll be more suited to autumn looks so we'll see how it goes but uh i'm so happy they're finally here um and i've got to say as well um the personal touch from that company was lovely when the invoice when i got to the invoice in the box um it was on a slip of paper it was on a an i4 slip of paper it had got what I'd ordered, it had got the pictures of the bundles and they clearly marked off individually when, once it had gone into the box so that they knew that everything was in there. So they've got somebody actually physically checking what they're packing and I've got everything that I asked for, so that's good. Nothing was broken because of how well packaged it was and on the invoice there was a little handwritten note um that addressed me by name 
and said thanks for your support enjoy the product and i just thought that was such a nice little touch it's something that they don't have to do um but they've taken the time to do it and yeah really pleased with that wasn't pleased that i did get charged customs for it but hey um i genuinely think at this point that that's not going to put me off ordering from them again um i'm going to try them out and check the quality um but i i genuinely think that i'm going to want to get some more from them so um but yeah so that's everything that i have bought now we're on to the things that i'm interested in buying so there's a few bits and pieces that i'm interested in um some of it's newish releases some of it's new it will soon to be new releases and some of it is stuff that's been out for a while so i really want to try the Steela after hours and after party palettes i think that's what they're called um the colors in them just look really really pretty um i've got a Steela um eyes of the window palette and i really like the quality of that so i'm willing to try these eyeshadows too the colors just look really pretty so i'm, I'm tempted to give those a go so that's something that's been out for a little while now um the thing that's new or soon to be new I really, really, really want the new Natasha Denona palette. I really don't need it. I don't. And, f and for the price that it is, I really don't need it. But I just look at it and I think, that's mine. So, mm, it's not released here yet um but i believe it's coming fairly soon so i'm keeping my eye out for it but yeah i kind of want it so we'll we'll, we'll see okay watch this space um and the other thing that i'm looking at getting is um the matte version of these so um so as i said this one's the shine one um they do matte lipsticks so similar packaging but the packaging's matte instead of shiny um and i really want to try that because i think that's going to be more sort of opaque coverage so yeah so that is everything that i'm looking at getting over the next sort of week or so so that's it then guys if you've enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you all again in a video very very soon thanks for watching bye Um, I got three eye makeup brushes. So, oh, <laughs> I've just thrown them all over the floor. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> I think it's time for bed. Where are the wipes? Oh, I've done it again. How many times do you have to forget that you need wipes? Oh, you don't help yourself, do you, woman? Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Oh no! Where have I put it? Oh, there it is.